was working as a dot commer in the Empire State Building and one of my office mates offered a trip to go out on a fireboat for a leaf peeping trip up to Bear Mountain and I didn't know where Bear Mountain was and I didn't know what a fireboat was and so I said no and the next time he put an offer out it was to come down and get dirty and I had been working at a desk for a number of years and the idea of getting down into the boat and getting dirty was really appealing. Within no time I was kneeling on top of a massive diesel engine and I was cutting out unused heating pipe with a power saw which is something I had never done before and I was completely hooked. I fell in love with the river, with the boat, with working with my hands and um, it changed my life. There are so many things that I get completely obsessed with about the river from um, very physical details and one of my favorite spots is World's End which is the deepest and narrowest section of the river. It's a particular spot where you can really imagine what Henry Hudson and his crewmates must have seen when they were taking their journey 400 years ago. You get the sense of the role that the river has played in history. The day from the very beginning is incredibly physical. Uh, I depend on all five of my senses, rely on them really, to be able to do my job. I count on my sense of smell, um, sight, hearing, and I can, feel, I can feel health or sickness in the engines that I work with through the vibrations that travel up my feet through my boots. I, I know what it is to be tired from a desk job. There's no question, um, and that kind of mental fatigue um, and the, the fatigue that comes from sitting still all day is, is tremendous. But there is something very satisfying about having worked a physical job all day, even with the mental challenges that it, that it uh, provides as well. I've always felt a little bit conflicted between my blue and white collar worlds. And what I've found through working on the fireboat is that I really need both worlds. And my work on the boat and on this book have really taught me a lot about the fact that this country needs both worlds as well. There's a piece of the soul of America that I think we're losing track of. The country was built on muscle and sweat and hard work and people making things and people working with their hands. And at a certain point, we got a little removed from that and this notion of the knowledge economy and the service economy overshadowed the fact that to continue to thrive and to be self-sufficient as a country, we need to continue to make things. We need to continue to value work that involves physical labor. For me, rediscovering some of the foundations of industry along the Hudson River really cemented the fact that America needs to get back to its heritage and that American skills need to be cumulative. It's not about going back to the old ways, it's about making sure that we're integrating our high-tech capabilities with the principles of craftsmanship, the principles of hard work, the principles of innovation that brought us to where we are today.